and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, we got Series 5. Now, once I back out of this and come back in, it's going to update my trophies. It just hasn't done it. I don't know why, because I guess I've been sitting in the menu. But Series 5 is out, guys. I'm super excited. That means that Theme Diamonds should be out. Theme Diamonds 2.0. So we got a lot of content to go over today. we got 32 potential legends. If that did just drop at the same time, which I believe it should have. We got a brand new Series Master. We got brand new trophies. We got brand new objective lists. We got brand new journey. We got so many new things. Now, I will be making a what to do first video shortly after this video, so stay tuned for that. I know you guys like to see that video so you know exactly, because there's a lot of things, right? There's themed diamonds, there's level up challenges, everything, and there's a level up grind, by the way. The level up grind, guys, is huge. 80 to 90 guarantees you a 96 and a 97 power up pass, which is huge. I will be making a power up pass video for you guys later today, more than likely. As well as guarantees you tons of coins, tons of packs. But by the way, guys, I recommend you open those packs. I was going to say save them for Ultimate Legends, but I think I'd rather open them now to chance of pulling an NFL Honors player. I'm just saying, I'd personally recommend you guys... Use them for the NFL honors because you could pull Lamar. Lamar's still going to be in packs. Up to you guys, though. You guys have to tomorrow if you want to try to still pull them. But I'm super excited for everything to go over today, guys. We have plenty of stuff to go over. Now, before we get into this video, make sure to down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure to comment down below what you guys think of Series 5, what you guys are doing first, and pretty much what's your most what's your favorite part of the series. I think mine's always going to be the level up grind. And, guys, give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 350 likes for this 1030 video? If you guys go crazy with the like button, as you guys know, it only helps the channel grow, and I'll be the quicker we get to 20k. And I'll probably have to do a giveaway at 20k because that's pretty crazy that one of our big milestones is gonna be hit. And guys, that's pretty much it. So let's get into all this. So for starters, I'm gonna go over to the sets in just a second. I'm gonna show you guys. Actually, let's start with the level up rewards. And for all you guys who didn't see my maximum level reward, you probably want to see that. So let's head on over to the milestones. I'm gonna show you guys all that and go through everything. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. You can see I was doing some leveling up. If you guys didn't already know, typically before everything releases, the level of grind usually starts nice and early. You guys can see right up in the top right corner, I'm already leveled up quite a bit. Guys, the level of grind's going super quick. Almost level 83 already. Things are, it's going pretty crazy. I did not think it would be this fast to level up. I'm honestly quite surprised it is this fast. Guys, at this rate, I'll have the maximum level rewards for you guys by like 3.30 the latest, hopefully. But let's get into everything. Let's go check out the solos. Let's check out the whole series update and kind of just recap what we saw yesterday. So heading over to challenges. As we look right here, the Journey 3 should be out. Journey Diamonds, which is considered Journey 3 in my opinion. Oh, I think it is at least. Take a journey against the new Theme Diamond 2 players. Play a game with each of them to see the capabilities. Guys, it's really not too bad. 60, uh, how, how many tiers are there? There's 320 for the completion token, so it is Journey 3. And then 200 for the players. So if you guys don't remember, the first pack right here gives you an 87 to 90 overall nat uh, player. The Tier 2 gives you an 87 to 91. And the Tier 3 gives you an 87 to 92. So as a whole, not bad. Some free players. Now those do go into the sets. Now see how the solos are looking. I believe there's going to be like typical, yeah, typical moments type solos. You hop into a moment. You just have to do the objective. Very simple stuff. Now let's hop into the uh, the missions list. See if there's anything there. See if series progression has been updated. Should have at this point. Series progression, yep, we're back at zero. And as per usual, oh, what does that say? If you can win headset season, if you, completing this list will earn you an additional 100,000 coins. I don't know if it's always done that, but uh, if it has... Yeah, I'm dumb if it has. Okay, so still same thing. 120 trophy, 60, 60, 30, 30, 10. Nothing's changed on that front. Now, I know you guys probably want to see the level up rewards. So let's go over there to Mutt Dedication, which I believe that's where it is. And let's go to the... Let's see, let's see. Where is... Is Series... Mutt level. Okay, so the Mutt level... You know, it's funny because I'm leveled up higher, but it's not out yet, apparently. But let's head over to sets. See the Theme Diamond players in the store. Not in the store. Over here, I mean. So Theme Diamonds 2. 0 out of 33. So the Master, as you guys know, is Night Train Lane. You guys should know this if you watched my video from yesterday. Now, to get this, you're going to need a completion token from all 32 NFL teams. Now, to get those, you have to do each and every set. So, I don't, I probably won't do that. I'd probably recommend you guys probably get a better value just waiting for him to come down to price. Now, turning completion tokens to earn a 98 overall theme diamond nitro lane and it's power up. So, I guess it's decent. Probably going to cost a ton of coins. Now, each set, pretty self explanatory. Going to cost some bear players for the bears, obviously. I'd recommend, guys, that you go through your binder and kind of just check out what you guys have from each team because these cards could be quite valuable. You know, it's very self-explanatory. You got to get cards from each team. And now this isn't like the first one with the golds and elites. This one's going to be like actual like flashbacks, team of the weeks, zero chill. Really just depends on the team itself. I'm going to have to go through and see what I got. I mean, I have Devin Singletary right there. I don't know how much is going to rise their value. But guys, some of these top pieces here could go for a pretty decent amount of coin. Like Royce Freeman. More, more than that, these top three here are probably going to go up in um, value a lot or decently. They say 47k. 
this 89 Philip Lindsay. Once people start to get uh, notice of this, it'll probably go up even more. These sets might not be that that expensive to do though, for the most part. These cards aren't too expensive. So that's pretty much those. Pretty much wraps up the theme diamonds. You guys pretty much, I hope at this point, under get an understanding of what that is. Obviously, let's check the missions again, see if it is out yet, because I do want to show you guys the level up rewards. The level up rewards are typically the most fun part of the new level up grind. Nope. Let's go to store though. So we have our series five trophies. My trophies were cut in half, guys. I did just fall short of getting my uh, John Madden. I had a few more wins away from getting my 60, which would have brought me a lot closer, but I fell short. Now let's head on over. So as you can see, the level 81 premium pack, that is my pack I get for my level 81, but you guys will be able to see that in my maximum level rewards. That's when I'll be opening that, as well as, let's see, training currency. Let's go to competitive, competitive currency. So I don't know how much the price have updated here, but we did get the brand new Series 5 competitive master, Joey Bosa. If you guys didn't see his stats, I did go over it in the screenshot from yesterday. I don't have to show you guys again. For the most part, you should have saw him already. And he's decent. At the end of the day, he's got 99 finesse move, like 87 block shed. The block shed's decent, not really that great. But he has good finesse move, good athleticism. Do I recommend you buy him? You Maybe you get the nat one if you have him powered up ready. I have his harvest powered up, so maybe I might do it. I'm not entirely sure just yet. I kind of want Calais Campbell instead. And then John Madden. Prices have remained unchanged. I kind of like that they haven't changed these prices because I would really suck as we got further in the year. They upped these prices because like we don't get trophies at an increased rate, which is probably why they don't do it, actually. But so far, so good. Uh, like I said, I would recommend you go for John Madden first. I have a lot of collectibles to catch up on for him, but these are so valuable. I don't think you guys understand to what extent these John Madden collectibles are actually like valued at. Let's check this store and see if anything else is out as far as themed diamonds. I wonder if anyone's done those sets yet. Who's crazy enough? You, I mean, to do the set, you probably have to have most of the players done already to have it done this quick. Let's go check it out. Theme diamonds should be all the way down. Oh, wow. That's so weird that we're in Series 5 now because that means that everything's in like its own thing. But why is, why is, oh, of course the filter is going to show us all the themed diamonds. That's kind of annoying. All right, so Olindo Mare is up. You guys should have saw stats. He's a really bad kicker. I'm not a fan of this kicker. I don't think he's one of the kickers you want to be looking at. I mean, he's slightly better than my Justin Tucker, but for that same price, I'd much rather just go get go ahead and get uh, like Adam Vinatieri or the, uh, ooh, who was the team of the year one? Taylor Mays is up, guys. Taylor Mays, if you guys don't already know, going to be probably the best strong safety in Madden. 94 speed, 94 excel, 91 zone, 95 hit power. Should be better than Pat Tillman. Oh, and if you guys don't already know, well, here you go. Better than Pat Tillman. Pat Tillman is getting upgrades, so I believe you can get him to a 96 or 97 overall now. He's not much of an upgrade over his current card, but he is going to be an upgrade, as well as Torrey Holt can be increased in overall now, so don't forget about that. You do want to be going ahead and getting your Torrey Holt uh, upgrade tokens. Those should be around, like, you know, like the usual 85, 87, usually the usual upgrades. Now that he's a 97 on my team, if you actually legitimately get him up to a 97, he can go all the way up to a 99, obviously. I believe he can get up to a 97 now, which is right here. So 95 speed, as well as 95 catching, 88 spin move, 91 juke move, 89 break tackle, 95 medium route running, 90 spec catch. You guys, he's going to have close to 99 route running, close to like 97 speed, which is pretty crazy. If you have shaker or, or sprinter on him, close to 99 catching, guys. This is going to be one of the best wide receivers in Madden. The only thing that usually sucks with him is his catch and traffic, but we can look past that, obviously, because he's still a great card. Now, I pretty much have the level up rewards memorized. If they don't come out, I'm probably going to telling you guys them. Let's go back and go check that out. But yeah, Torrey Holt and Pat Tillman do get upgrade tokens, so definitely want to be getting that done. Now, let's head back on over to these, uh, the gauntlet. Not the gauntlet. Oh, is there a new gauntlet? No, there's not. All right, so let's go over to serious progression. It's still not there. Mutt dedication new, though. Let's see. Weekly mission. All right, I mean, I'm going to go over them real quick anyways, just in case they don't come out. The Mutt level rewards for at level 80 to 81, you just get that pack that I showed you guys. Level 82, I believe you get a Legend Fantasy Pack, which I should have in my store at some point whenever they actually give it to me. They have not given it to me yet. You get um, the Level Up uh, Challenges Unlocked. Then you get some more premium packs in the store. You get a 45,000 coin quick sell. More packs in the store. Another 45,000 coin quick sell. Another Legend Fantasy Pack. You get a 96 Power Pass and a 97 Power Pass. And then, of course, you get Tillman and um, Tory Holt upgrades along the way. Now, by the way, guys, I actually think Tillman upgrades, I think we have those already. If I'm not wrong, I believe we can upgrade Pat Tillman right now. I think all you have to have was some of his border tokens left. Okay, yep. Or you can use training. So let's upgrade him real quick all the way. But master image. Oh, so that's pretty cool. We can skip right past all that. There we go. And then there we go again. That's pretty cool. And if you don't have him for some reason, you can always use training, which is still kind of a lot of training. So that's pretty cool. I don't know what new abilities he's gotten, but let's go check out his stats real quick before we head on out of this video. Let's see, Pat Tillman, 98 overall. Okay, he's looking super solid, guys. I'm going to end up staying with him just because he's free for me, and this card looks amazing. 98 overall, Patrick Tillman. Looking great, guys. 
Now let's head back on over. I don't think it's going to show. I don't know why Madden's doing this. I haven't got my level up packs either. I haven't got much, much of my level up rewards at all. Here we go. Mutt level has been increased. So level 82 is a Legend Fantasy pack. Level 81, like I said, was premium pack. Level 83 was a level up challenge. Wow, I'm good. 45k coin quick sell. And then the 96 power pass. Then at level 87, I believe that's 80, 86, we get another premium pack, which these are the ones you can take the platinum players out of. And then we got Legend Fantasy pack, level challenges. 45k coin quick sell and power pass. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Stay tuned for my what to do first video, as well as my maximum level and my power pass video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the Naughty Bow Boys, come join the family. Let's get to 20k as quickly as possible. If you made it this far, like the video. Let's get this video to 250 likes for 1030. And comment down below if you need any help. I'm out. Peace.